Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been forever since I've uploaded a video, but here I've got my adorable little model and we're gonna do a really fun little puppy for you. So I'm gonna start off by loading white on my sponge and just gently tapping that on top of the nose. And here I asked my model to open his mouth so I can put the white on his muzzle. And that just helps keep it cleaner and keeps the white from getting on the bottom lip. Although it still happens sometimes. Next you're going to tap the white onto the eyelids and just a little bit right in the center. Next I'm going to take a teardrop sponge and load it with your favorite rainbow cake and tap it on top of the eyes. The teardrop sponge is perfect for making the puppy ears and it's also perfect for getting in that little crease right by the nose and the eye and it makes the cutest little jowls. Perfect for a puppy. <laughs> it's my favorite sponge to use when I'm doing cats or puppies or even tigers. Next, I'm gonna grab my wipey, and I didn't make any mistakes, but I just wanted to clean up my lines. If you've got time, go ahead and do this. If not, don't even worry about it. Next step, I'm gonna take one of my favorite brushes. It is the number three round brush from Blazin Brushes. Seriously, I got this like a couple months ago and it has quickly become one of my favorite brushes. It's perfect for outlining, it's perfect for teardrops, reverse teardrops, you name it. And right here, oh, I just made like a mistake like right after I painted that. Oh, I was just like, what was I thinking? But it's okay, I'm gonna come back and fix it in just a second. Right after I outline the jowls and make them look nice and fluffy. So all we have to do to fix that little spot is add a circle around his eye to make it look like he's got a little spot there. Now we're going to outline the muzzle and I'm using this gorgeous color. It's called Petrol Blue and it is easily like my go-to outlining color currently next to black. It is so pretty. So all you're gonna do is add some spots and split that lip. Next, I'm gonna come in with my chisel brush. This brush is from the Paint Pal collection and it is the Little Drop brush. These brushes are perfect for creating dog noses and cat noses and bear noses. These are awesome to have. Okay, next we're coming in with a tap Stencil, I'm not exactly sure the number of this, but I will find the information and include it in the description box below. So we're just gonna add some little paw prints up above, and to balance out the design, I'm going to add the big paw print on the cheek down here. And finally coming in with some white highlights just add them here and there you can see my little model is counting how many highlights I'm adding <laughs> he wanted to know exactly how many I was going to add And this next step is optional, but I'm just cleaning up the muzzle. I wanted that line to look nice and crisp, and I wanted that white to go all the way to the edge. You can skip that part if you are pressed for time. Next, add some dots for added interest. And highlight that little paw print on the side. Fix your model's hair, and they're good to go. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye, see you next time.